So hiya, I'm Jade and I'm one of the crew members at the Baltic. I'd like to introduce you today to Labena Himid's exhibition called Our Kisses, Our Petals. And Labena Himid is a black female artist who, when she was about four months old, moved over from Zanzibar. And so from being very young, she sort of felt this sort of lack of identity. She's been a practicing artist for about 40 years and last year she actually was awarded the Turner Prize. The idea behind a lot of her work is to bring about um, sort of a, a change in the way that we think and she's also wanting to use sort of her influence in the, in the art world to um, bring sort of other artists that have been unrecognised up to now into sort of a prominent view, shall we say. The Kanga, which are the flags um, that she has used to print this piece of artwork on. In East Africa, this is a traditional dress worn by um, women, and it's usually sort of um, a, a mixture of pictures on the centre with a central message and also with the border around it. And she's taken this sort of traditional material and, and used it in a completely different way. So she's created these very bright, vibrant flags and in a lot of ways, they remind me of sort of the, the flags and the banners that you would see on, say, something like the miners' strike or, or various other protests. And it's all about this idea of sort of change and how can we influence that with these messages that she's included on them. She's put them on these pulley systems. You can actually move these back and forth. And the idea was that she wanted people to come into here and not feel like it was just paintings that you couldn't touch, that you couldn't interact with, but actually get involved, move them about, create your own messages, create your own poems, use it as a performance space, if you will. This flag particularly speaks volumes to me. Labena has used various parts of the human anatomy in the center of these flags. And for this one particularly is the inner ear. How do we spell change? Such an important question and art is exactly for that point. It's meant to inspire and change the way that we think and view the world. And a lot of these messages that she's got along these um, kangas are taken from poems from sort of various underrepresented black artists, some of whom aren't even with us anymore. So you've got people like Essex Hemphill, James Baldwin, Audre Lorde. These people have been huge influences in the black activist community back in the 70s and 80s, and they never got represented well at the time for the work that they actually achieved. And I find this one particularly interesting. Why are you looking? Because I think we all ask ourselves, you know, why do we do anything? Why are we looking? Why do we even exist? What is the meaning of life? And this flag in particular will actually be getting recreated on a larger scale and be put up as a flag on the top of the Baltic um, as part of the Great Exhibition of the North. So you can be stood anywhere in Newcastle City and look over to the Baltic and see this huge flag asking you as an individual, why are you looking here? Why not come here? Why not come and join in the discussion, the debates? So this is the second part of Labena Himid's exhibition. And the words that you see on the wall around me, our kisses, our petals, our tongues caress the bloom. This is a line taken from a poem called Black Beans by Essex Hemphill. And I really like the poem. Labena read it during her artist talk. That poem, even though it was written back in the 70s, is still so valuable. Those words are still so necessary. Essex Hemphill in particular, he was a black gay rights activist. And so were many of the influences of, of people that Labena tried to put into this exhibition. You know, there's so much information in this exhibition and it doesn't always meet the eye and to me without that context you, you don't perhaps get as punchy of a message that Labena was aiming to, to give the audience with this exhibition.